to tell our viewers uh, that the Delhi police had to use uh, the force of water cannons to disperse that crowds that you saw thronging outside the AICC office. I'd like to cut across at this point of time. Joining us in this bulletin is uh, Mr. Reches Fulka, Supreme Court lawyer, human rights activist, but most importantly, a man who's fought a very, very long battle for the victims of the 1984 riots. Uh, welcome to uh, Headlines today, sir. The question I ask, you know, after years, years and years, uh, Gandhi finally made a comment on the 1984 riots. There were bound to be repercussions because Mr. Rahul Gandhi spoke about the 1984 riots but didn't address it enough. You see, the, uh, now Mr. Gandhi refused to apologize and he also said there's a difference. He also said the government of the in, in 1984 tried their best to protect the, uh, uh, to pr protect the Sikhs. They tried their best to control the violence, which is absolutely wrong. The victims who have not got the justice all these 30 years, I mean, they are so much anguished that this, even today, they are telling a blatant lie. You see, what happened in Gujarat is also very bad. It shouldn't have happened. But what happened in 1984 has no parallel. So to you, uh, extract from the Mishra Commission report, it says at page 41 that the 5,000 strong army was available in Delhi on 1st November morning and had that army been, been deployed in Delhi, it could have saved the 2,000 lives. Now who was to employ the army in Delhi? Now this is obviously the central government. Now today revelation mm -hmm. has come uh, by the press secretary to the then president of India, Gandhi Jal Singh. He says the president was trying to contact the prime minister. President did not come to uh, prime minister didn't come to the online at all. I mean, this is a, such a rebuke and a insult to the president. And we have the evidence right from day one. Uh, in 1985, before Mishra Commission affidavit was filed by Ram Pallas Pasma, that Ram Pallas Pasma, along with Sharad Jadav, Charan Singh, Kapuri Thakur, and Devi Lal, went to the president of India, Gandhi Jal Singh. And for one hour, President right. tried to speak to Home Minister, but the right. Home Minister's PA did not give the phone to the Home Minister. I mean, look right. at this, what is happening in the country. You know, Mr. Fulka, you know, you fought and a very, very long battle, sir, as a legal expert. You fought for the cause of the, the victims of the 1984 riots. You are now a part of the Ahmadmi Party. Earlier on, we had Mr. Kejriwal who said that they're going to ask for an SIT probe. Till now, neither Mr. Rahul Gandhi nor anyone from the Congress has actually confirmed whether the Congress is on paper where the SIT probe is concerned. How are you going to take that further, sir? You see, the point is the SIT is absolutely necessary. Now, 587 total FIRs were registered. Out of them, 241 were closed by the police. And now, these, enough evidence is available. Now, in many times, I was asked on the TV channel that 30 years have passed. What evidence are you expecting to come forward? Now, you see this, these cases after Nanavati Commission, they were closed by the police. Only four cases Nanavati recommended to be reopened. Now, in 2006, right. those, those cases were reopened. The statement of the witnesses were recorded in 2008-2009 and in three of those cases the charge sheet were filed. The sufficient evidence was found and right. charge sheet was filed and only one case of out of those have been decided till now and five people are convicted. The statements of the witnesses before the court were recorded in 2011. Yes. 27 years after the incident, the witnesses deposed before the court they faced the strenuous cross-examination, they withstood that cross-examination, the court believed their testimony and the five accused are convicted. Now, if right. that is an example before us, that 27 years after that, the victims are giving the statement and that statement is found credible by the court, if then is uh, uh, accused are convicted, why not after 30 years today? Why, right. why are we... Uh, apprehending this, why are we uh, scared of this that the victims have forgotten? No, these victims which are there before you, ask them till today. The right. memory, this incident is itched in their memory. They will tell you minute details, each and everything. They have not forgotten anything till today. That's my experience, and I'm certain about it right. that if the SIT is appointed today, 
these 241 FIRs which are closed, they are reopened. Many witnesses are still alive. In many cases, the charge sheet will be filed and the sufficient evidence will be found. And we may be able to achieve some convictions which otherwise had been almost negligible till now. Appreciate, appreciate you joining us, Mr. Fulka. We do hope you are successful in convincing the authorities that be for an SIT probe in the 84 riots. Uh, uh, for now, we are going